Well, hello, my lovelies. I'm back for another decluttering. As you can see, we have a load of guff in front of us. So we are basically doing base products. So I'm gonna go for foundations and concealers today. Um, so I just before I go any further, I am using my iPhone 6s and I'm loving it, the camera and everything, and the fact that there's a light on the back whenever you're filming. I adore my new phone, guys, if I haven't mentioned that already. I absolutely freaking adore it. So anyway, let's get stuck in. The only thing is I'm having to use this dopey wee tripod with um, a selfie sort of holder on it. So that's not fun, but I'm gonna get a new tripod for it. So let's get started with the base products. Um, I'm sure you have all seen this here before. This is what I keep my small pots of FM Cosmetics foundations in. This does need to be touched up and these ones need to be refreshed. So this is staying. I'm missing a few pots. There's, there seems to be three pots missing. I'm not sure where they've gone, but hopefully we'll find them on our journey. So next is my FM Advanced Foundation. This is weird having the, the light on this here. So anyway, this is in Golden Sun. So this does not match me. This is for clients and stuff. So it's a, it's quite a, it's golden. It says it's golden, you know. Um, This is, there's Second Skin and Advanced Foundation. So the Advanced is for um, a heavier coverage, the second skin, you know, just looks, it, it's light coverage. So anyway, I'm keeping this because it's for clients. Um, and then this is the other one. This is in Ivory. This is the one I use for myself. We are getting near the end, um, but again, it's one that I'm keeping because I do like to use this product on clients um, when I'm doing their makeup. So the next one is, this is number seven, Stay Perfect. Um, we're probably getting to near the end of this here. This is in Cool Vanilla. Um, it's okay. It's not. It wouldn't be. Oh, it was kind of big swatcheroo. It wouldn't be sort of my favorite. Um, I don't know why I did that because I have no tissues or anything right now. I'm so glad you can't see me because I literally just wiped my hand on my trousers. I'm wearing pajamas, it's fine, they're going in the wash tonight. So anyway, I'm not fussed on this one. I'm gonna, um, I'm probably gonna pass this on to my mum. This probably would be really good for her. Um, but I did, I like the consistency and everything of this product. I wouldn't say it's 24 hours wear, um, but I like that it's hypoallergenic. Um, this is gross. I hate this happening to the pumps. Look at that. Look at oh. Anyway, so it's going to oh, it's going to the side. The next one I have is by Arbonne. I really like this. You can see I have used quite a bit of this. I do like the pump. I will give them their juice. This is a really really good pump, so it just pushes up as you get less and less in it. So. It's supposed to be a great way of making sure that you use all that's in it. Um, this is in Honey Beige. It's not a great color match for me. Um, it's a wee bit too yellow toned for me. I'm, I'm very pink toned as you guys know. Um, so I'm gonna pass this one on as well. Next is Soft Beige Lasting Finish Rimmel London 25R. It says nude. I don't understand. Um, I think it's supposed to look like your skin but better type thing isn't a great color match for me i'm really struggling with getting color matches in rimmel at the minute and i have tried a few different products um it was it's still a wee bit too yellow based for me as you can see from the light hitting off at how yellow it actually is but um it's okay but I'm probably gonna pass this one on as well because it's not getting the use. I did pass on another Rimmel, I can't remember what that one was, but it is a good product, it just isn't for me. So next we have Gosh Natural Touch Foundation. I think I got this in a swap or something. What color is this in? 
pearl. You know, I really haven't given this a lot of love. Um, I don't think. So let's see. Still a very, very yellowy base color. Um, no, this isn't gonna be one for me. So I'm gonna pass this one on as well. So let's see, what have we got next? Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I'm gonna keep this because I wanna try doing, um, I started a couple of years ago doing BB creams. I'm gonna check and see, I don't know whether this one's still available, but I'm gonna check on it um, and I'm gonna do another BB cream video. It's probably not gonna be finished and stuff until closer to the spring, which is fine because during the winter we like to go for different products anyway. BB creams I like spring and summer. But anyway, I'm gonna keep this one. I haven't given this one a lot of love. Um, I really don't, I can't remember what it was that I didn't like about it. Um, but I'll maybe try it again and see what I think. Um, I'll probably try and do reviews on these products quite soon actually, rather than leaving it. Anyway, we will see. This one, Caudalie Vino Perfect. Um, this is in light, it's a tinted moisturizer. Um, I took this on holiday with me because it's got an SPF of 20. I really liked it, I have to say it was a lovely, lovely tinted moisturizer and it is just that, a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't have any real coverage. So I'm gonna keep this because I really, really enjoyed using this on holiday. So moving on to this, we have all our bare minerals products. Um, I am keeping these. I need to, I need to get a lot of new ones for the salon again. I have medium beige. I have light, fairly light. Um, and then with mineral oil. Again, another medium beige. Um, it seems to be the most popular color that I go through. Here is a product that um, I did a first impressions on. Really wasn't overly fussed on it. It was all right. So I'm probably gonna pass this on to someone else because it was a wee bit too light for my skin anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pass this one on. That shouldn't be there. Um, and this is a pressed powder of my mum's. I actually have to fix this. Um, as you can see, it is broken. You guys have probably seen my video of fixing powders and stuff already. Anyway, so that needs sorted. Um, so on to... What else have we got in here? So then we've got our concealers. I'm probably... I'm going to leave the powders and stuff... Um, until I'm doing like bronzers and things like that. I'll do all those in one video. So anyway, um, so that's everything foundation wise. So let's have a look at concealers. Um, so first of all, oh yes, it was Rimmel Perfect Match, um, or matte perfection that I gave away. I don't know why I didn't give the concealer away. Hmm, interesting. Um, this is in soft beige. I'm giving away the soft beige colors, so I'm gonna give this away as well. I do think. Um, I'm gonna give this another go. I'll do a review on this one. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a review on these these types of concealer palettes because they are supposed to be really good. I just haven't given this one a proper review yet. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'll maybe do the same with this here one as well. This was from a glossy box or something. So I'll do something. I'll do a video with, maybe I'll combine a few of them. Then we have this. This is some kind of gorgeous in medium, which really isn't a good color for me. But I will keep this because I do like using this on clients. I think it's a really good one. Um, this is Natural Collection and it's their corrector stick. And it is actually broken. I really don't use it very much, in fact, at all. So I'm going to... 
I'll try and fix it and pass it on. This is Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin in Light. I actually haven't tried this yet, so I'm going to give this a wee go, see what I think of it. So I will do a first impressions or review or something and let you guys know what I think. Next one is 17 and this is eight, up to 18 hours stay time. Um, and this is in extra fair. This is for underneath my eyes. Oh, I dropped it. But it really didn't give enough coverage for underneath my eyes. So I'm going to pass this one on. The next ones I am keeping because these are brilliant. I really like these. They aren't my colour. Um, what do we have? We have CW3 and CW4. Um, so one is more pinky toned and the other one is... Um, is more yellow tone so love these so I'm gonna keep these for clients Um, this one I'm gonna pass on as well because it really isn't a great match for me and um, this was unfair Um, my FM cosmetics one I'm nearly out of so I need to get another one of this here um, and this is in light so um, as I say really really love this one because it goes great with the foundations really good coverage these ones I've had for so long, they're going in the bin. They were great. I love these e.l.f. products, but as you can see, they do separate. Um, one is in tone three and the other's in tone one, but they are gorgeous products whenever they are still good to use. And the last one is another one I'm not keeping. This is Bourjois Paris, and this is a brush concealer. Um, it says unifying and illuminating texture. Um, can't see where the color is in it but it it wasn't the right color for me and it wasn't a great um coverage either so I'm going to pass that one on as well so my darlings this is it this is what I'm keeping and this is what I'm giving away so that is it for this one the next video is going to be sorting out these two piles here so thank you so much for watching see you next time love yous bye